Another way to make a table in Axis is to enter the data directly into the table. Uh, so I'm going to pick on create again. And we'll just pick on the word table. Then we have this screen. So imagine uh, each column is a different field. So in this case, I'm just going to type in PA uh, and then Pennsylvania for the full name. By the way, I'm hitting the tab key to go to the next column over and uh, uh, Harrisburg is the capital. Now, if I want to go to the next record down, I'm just going to click on the next record over here, as you can see. Notice how the ID is one of those auto numbers and that's built right in. We could always take that off if we wanted to. I'll type in New Jersey and I'll type in Trenton. Well, actually the, the, the state name is New Jersey. And we'll type in Trenton there. Uh, so then, you know, we'll just have different states here. I'll do uh, Maryland and the type in the full name uh, Maryland. And the capital there is called Annapolis. Uh, then we'll have Delaware. And uh, I'll type that in. So you can see what I'm doing. And the capital there is called Dover. So now let me show you how to change the column headings. You're just going to double click up here where it says field one. And then you can type over that. So I'll call that one state. I'll double click on the field two and call that one full name. Remember, it doesn't like spaces in the field names. Uh, or, I mean, you could, you could put spaces, but other databases may not like it. So I try to avoid that. And then here we'll call it uh, capital. So we actually built this table by just typing in the data and then double clicking on the headings to change the field name. So I'm going to close that window. Of course, we'll save it. And we'll call this one states. And click on OK. And notice how we have the states table. So that's how you can make a table by uh, typing data directly into the table.